Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to be here with you today to show you some great facial exfoliators. Yes, that's right. I have found two new products that I absolutely love and I've been incorporating them into my evening and my morning skincare routine and I'm looking forward to sharing them with you. But first, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things for those of us over 50, then I hope you'll subscribe and when you click that little bell, that just sends you emails of my future videos. Okay, let's get down to this. And I have to say that I was sent both of these products in PR, but this is not sponsored. And I'm free to give you my totally honest opinion. And these products are fabulous. But first I'll show you this Claire Sonic Mia. And the thing that got me interested in the Claire Sonic as a skincare beauty tool and not just a cleanser is a video that I saw by Davin Lim. And if you haven't seen his videos, he's fabulous. He is a dermatologist in Australia I wish he were here because I would go to him in a heartbeat, but he did a video called the 2017 best skincare product ever. And amazingly, out of every skincare product we could use in our own homes, he picked the Clairsonic as the absolute best skincare tool out there. And the video that I will link below, which Dr. Lim did, was all about the importance of exfoliation. I have been using this for the past two weeks every single night, and my skin has improved already. In fact, within the first couple of nights of using this, I would get up in the morning and my skin, which normally looked kind of craggy and thick and oily and heavy, all of a sudden started looking lighter and more glowing. It's really like this Clarisonic was removing that top layer of dead, dull skin cells and uncovering beautiful skin. Now here is the Clarisonic Mia listing on Amazon. And as you can see, it got very good reviews. Here is one of the reviews. Cupcake121 says, great product for keeping my face soft and free of dead skin. This is my second Mia. I gave my daughter my first one and regretted it immediately. I finally got another one so that my life would be complete again. Great tip. Go over your lips with it to get rid of the dry skin lipstick usually sticks to. Love, love, love my Mia. And I have to agree with Cupcake. I love, love, love my Mia too. One of the things I like most about it is that using this Mia only takes about 60 seconds. And in studies, it showed that this little device removed 86% more makeup than just those facial cleansing wipes. And for those of you who've seen my PM skincare routines in the past, I'm very guilty of just using those facial cleansing wipes. And I did a little experiment with this. I went ahead and used the facial cleansing wipe and then I went over it as I normally do with a cotton pad soaked in witch hazel and I got quite a bit of makeup coming off on the cotton pad after I used just my facial cleansing wipes. And then the next night I cleansed my face for 60 seconds with this little Clairsonic Mia and then I again used the cotton pad soaked with witch hazel and I hardly had any makeup left on that cotton pad. So to me, not only is the Clairsonic Mia a wonderful exfoliator, it also gets my face super clean. Now my next exfoliating product is by Amor Pacific and it's their Treatment Enzyme Peel. And this is a fabulous product. I use the Clairsonic Mia in the evenings and I use this product in the morning during my AM skincare. And I keep forgetting to post that video. And this is going to be a part of my AM skincare from here on out because it is wonderful. But I will get that video posted. And again, if you're not a subscriber, if you subscribe and click the bell, you'll get an email when I post that video. What this is, it's a little enzyme exfoliator. Unlike cleansing scrubs, which you know you put on with wet skin and you can feel the gritty particles kind of scraping your skin, with this, this is just a very nice little powder and then you mix it with water and then over wet skin, you just kind of massage it over your face for 30 or 60 seconds is all. And again, you're not feeling those harsh gritty grains abrading your skin. You're just feeling kind of a nice smooth, maybe it feels like a little bit of a light sand in it, but it is really not doing the exfoliating. What is actually doing the exfoliating is two enzymes. One is green tea enzymes and the second is papaya enzymes. And so actually I usually just put it all over my face and let it sit there for 30 seconds to 60 seconds and it can do its own work even without me scruffling it around. And then you rinse it off. And another great thing about this product is it is paraben free and has no sulfates or formaldehyde, which I guess is something that we have to worry about is formaldehyde in our skincare. Who would have thought they would have put that in there? And here is a look at some of the comments on Amazon and I'll read you one. Alicia says, love, love, love this product. I noticed an amazing difference. I'm 46 and people who know me said they noticed a real difference in my skin and appearance. We'll be purchasing again. I look so much younger. 
And that was exactly my experience using this product. After the first few days, I noticed that my skin was looking clearer and more radiant and more even toned. And I went to work and the girl said, hey, what are you doing with your skin? It's looking better. And that is not something I normally get at work from the girls at work is anything about my appearance. So whenever I get a comment like that, I really do take notice. And then I started noticing over the next few days that my makeup was going on better and that my skin did have just a smoother, more refined look. Absolutely love this product and I'm going to add it to my morning skincare routine. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and today is no exception. And sometimes I read from positive thinking type cards and lately sometimes I've been reading some scripture and I've been reading in my own personal studies every morning this Jesus Calling book. Many of you may know it. It's absolutely wonderful. And I think it's like $7 on Amazon. But it's a daily study, kind of as if Jesus is talking to us. And I'm just going to pick one at random and read it to you. June 13th. I am creating something new in you. A bubbling spring of joy that spills over into others' lives. I love that. Do not mistake this joy for your own or try to take credit for it in any way. Instead, watch in delight as my spirit flows through you to bless others. Let yourself become a reservoir of the spirit's fruit. And again, this is if Jesus is talking to you. Your part is to live close to me, open to all that I am doing in you. Don't try to control the streaming of my spirit through you. Just keep focusing on me as we walk through this day together. Enjoy my presence, which permeates you with love, joy, and peace. Oh my, I absolutely love this. And what a wonderful thing. In our second halves, it's kind of easy to get discouraged and think, oh my, all the good stuff is behind me. Life is dull, dusty, and boring. But as this reading reminds us, I am creating something new in you, a bubbling spring of joy that spills over into others' lives. And that's really what we need to be in our second half. In my first half, I was pretty selfish. It was kind of all about me and my family, my children. But in my second half, I really want to allow the Lord to create something new in me and to help me be of greater service to others' lives. So just for today, let's open ourselves up to God and the universe and allow God's blessing to flow into us and outward into the lives of others. Take care. See you next time.